This video will help illustrate the process in more detail. Here you're looking at a tube that will be made out of carbon fiber and a CAE analyst is working in the Annex CAE Laminate Composites module to do some initial investigation. Initially the analyst has defined zone-based composite material properties which means sets of elements share the same laminate physical property. Here we also see the initial laminate layup created by this engineer. After some initial diagnostics, the engineer sends a laminate composite material definition to the composites designer for further modification and refinement. The designer, working in NXCAD with FibreSim, then takes the zone properties defined by the CAE analyst and then applies it to the sheet body geometry in NX to create plies, 60 in this case. Now the designer can then make modifications to these plies or add or subtract plies. The designer also needs to make sure each ply will drape properly to the mold and FibreSim with NXCAD can help the designer determine the draping pattern for each ply to make sure there are no wrinkles. Once the designer is satisfied with the final composite design, he or she can send the data back to the CAE analyst for structural validation. Since this is a solid part, it is preferable to mesh this part using solid elements and NXCAE laminate composites provide numerous options for inflating the laminate composite. For example, the analyst could create a layer of elements for each ply which would then create 60 layers of solid elements as you see here. But that's not really an, inf an efficient solution for a solver. So there are other options to reduce the number of layers and group of number of plies to a layer. So the final mesh includes a few layers of solid elements and each layer points to a set of specific ply definitions. Once the complete analysis model is ready, the analyst can solve and evaluate the results. NXCAE laminate composites allows you to view stress results from each ply as well as see the maximum stress over all the plies. So in the end, you can see how an integrated solution allows analysts and designers to collaborate efficiently on the complex task of performing structural analysis of composite products.